Uh, I mean, it's great. I mean, it's catchy, um, clever, which I like, you know, but I, I think it, for us, V6 has been real for 10 years. I mean, V6 is not a new thing for us. So there's part of me also that kind of says, well, that's nice, but you know, it should have been real for a long time. It shouldn't just be now getting real. And you know, I think it's in reference to last year where there was a bit of a, you know, kind of a, a temporary uptick in V6, you know, kind of implementations and then a lot of them got turned back down a few days later. So. Um, because it's a novelty, it's kind of a toy for some people. It's kind of a nice, cute little thing to do, and they want to be part of the the press and the conversation and everything about it. But they don't really day to day operate their network or operate their data center in leveraging that protocol yet. Um, why they don't is a great question. In a lot of cases, it's just something that they haven't either vetted out enough to feel 100% comfortable from their point of view, or they haven't, you know. Uh, decided it's important enough from a customer demand or a, you know just a requirement perspective. Um, I the question we kind of ask is why haven't they done it yet? Why why hasn't this already been the case? Because it's really hard in our minds to justify just not doing it. We've just always seen it as a good you know a good way to approach running the network. And when we clearly saw the need just from a sheer volume of IP addresses to have a, a solution, that was kind of when we moved in that direction. And that was I think almost 10 years ago now. So for us, it's been real for a very long time. And for any of our customers, I think they would tell you that, you know, knowing that they can connect to us in New York or London or Tokyo or Sao Paulo and have the same interface into a V6 network in all those continents, that's a good thing. There's certainly no downside to that.